Fish pond one, chance at nil. <laughs> what a really, really brilliant structure. Morning. Well, we didn't show you on the day, but this was some of the stuff we bought. We bought these. These were a fiver. In a, they're, they're full size, but we folded them over. These were a fiver in B&M's, as was this one. And Lorna's cut this one and turned it into pillowcases. And, uh, yeah. And we're going to go back and get get one for the front cover, which we like to throw on to keep the dust off the dash and stuff. Oh, yeah. Chance has got his own little den down here. I just wanted to show you. Come out of the way then, boy. Come out of the way then. I can't show him your den. Yeah. So we definitely seem to be preferring sticking with the grey theme. And, uh, yeah, we're going to stick with the grey. And uh, that should be good. Uh, it doesn't seem to show up the dirt so much. These were only cheap ages ago, these blankets, and uh, they are so warm, but we're using them at the moment just to cover the seats up, because uh, all this rain must be the same for you guys, it's just mud everywhere. It's raining again today. Um, well, we don't care, because uh, we're going to go out anyway and just have a walk in uh, a local woods. So I want you to do me a favour when you see what we filmed today. Let me know what you think of the audio because I'm not using any microphones whatsoever, just the one that's built in the in the camera. And uh, we're going to see if that's all right for when we're out because this camera's waterproof. I want to see if it's all right for when we're um, out in the rain and stuff because it's very hard to hear when you're doing things with editing and stuff like that. You've got headphones on. It's... It, it sounds a lot louder and then you, you don't know if it's passable or not it's very 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 hard so i just want to know if this works because if it does then i'll just get a wind muff for this and then we can still go out in the rain with it so if you'd be so kind brilliant anyway that was just a quick update on what we bought yesterday so we've got to go back to that b and m's and uh we're gonna what's the wood called we're gonna go and try both aptly aptly wood that sounds like we're up north, doesn't it? Happily would, but we're not. And uh, yeah, cool. See ya in the woods. Oh, oh, this is good. We come to Apley Woods, and uh, you get this parking area over here for three hours behind us and we just walk down here for free parking councils take note now i will say it's a little bit cold this morning the weather's really turned bitter in the last three nights hasn't it yeah. not been cold in the van but as soon as you go outside or Anything so it was actually frost on the ground last night, wasn't it? You said there was, yeah, I didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, no, it was, yeah. There wasn't, come off if you don't behave. <laughs> <laughs> Dance is in the dog out. There you go. Apney Woods, local nature reserve. Oh. Ain't gonna worry about that. Oh. Oh, look at that, daffodils. Spring is coming. Go on, you terror. Bugger off. Yeah. I should point out that this is actually near uh, Telford, isn't it? Just on the outskirts. Just on the outskirts of Telford <laughs> town centre. He's off. Watch Pasta. out. He spotted a pigeon or a squirrel. <laughs> Come here, you monkey chops. Where's the ball? Fetch it. Fetch the ball. Fetch the ball. Find it. Good boy. Read this. For hundreds of years, the Apley estate was home to one of the most famous families in Shropshire. 
the Charltons. The first house on the estate was owned by Alan de Charlton in 1327. He received permission from King Edward III to embattle and fortify his house. And then it goes on and on and on and on about things. So, yeah, very pleasant. It's a nice little dog wall. It's a bit dark in here, I'm afraid, folks, but... Oh, there's a lake over there, babe. Yeah, while well, we're here, because we're so close to Telford, we're also going to pull into B&M's and carry on our decor doing. Go on, off you go. Not you, that was a dog. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's an impressive tree. A giant in branches to cut. There's like this little lake around here. It's uh, a very popular place for dog walkers. Hey. Here he is. I can see him. I can see the dogs are still there. Oh look! All the ducky ducks. No. <laughs> Good morning, girls. Don't worry about him. He won't hurt you. Wow. Well, Oh, he's in. Don't chase them off. Don't chase them off. You little monkey. Do not chase them off. No. Leave them alone. Chance us. What's this? That's better. You wouldn't dare go out that far anyway, you bottle job. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to... Um, Keston Pond down near Bromley. Yes, yes. It's got that feel about it. We used to go there as kids. Um, it. Fishing and, and all the rest of it. It's all right, you carry on. But uh, yeah, Keston Pond's in a, what was the road called? Fish Ponds Lane. Uh, yeah, it's got that kind of feel about it. Go on, you can get it. Good boy. That's it. Occasionally, he will do a swim, won't he? Oh, it's yeah, really, he's really he's occasional, and never when I've got the camera out. Maybe here. Uh... Oh. Good boy. That's it, see? <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, occasionally. I presume all the uh, surrounding house, like estate, if you like, is what was now once there mansions and things. Um, it was a bit like the house we lived in. It was like uh, our house was the uh, taxpayer's house for Romney Marsh, also where the term "scot free" comes uh, comes from, and. Um, all the estate that was built around that was on land that was once owned by the uh, expenditor, which is a tax collector. So, yeah, I expect this is a pretty similar idea, sort of thing. There's some huge big trees here, though. Totally massive. Don't look it on camera, I've got to say. You've lost the ball? What, in the water? Oh, there it is. Go and fetch it. Fetch a ball. Oh, it's, it's right out there, look. Find it. Am I mistaken or is that actually coming back in? Here come the ducks to the rescue. Come on ducks, go past it and swim it this way. As you might not have realised over the recent uh, 18 months or whatever it's been. Got a little thing about ducks. Do like ducks. Oh, it's getting further out. Oh no. We'll bring you back. Will it get rescued or will it not? <coughs> the ball is drawing quite a crowd. But none of them want to push it this way. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Duck. Vegetable duck. Fish pond one, chance at nil. Definitely didn't put the right shoes on for this. It said it was full of paths. Ugh, I'm losing. 
Thank you for not feeding us bread. I just I don't get when that became a thing. Hundreds of years people fed ducks bread. I'm not saying that it's good to feed them bread. I'm just saying I just don't know when that became a thing. It's always been done, isn't it? Over centuries. Does that mean we were killing them? Oh wow, look at this. Oh god, look at the state of him. Oh, Charles, sir, this way. Oh crap, he is one muddy boy. Look, what's this? Perhaps we do. Perhaps we do need a mud daddy after all, Kevin. Six, six. Can you grab his collar for me? Six. What? Good boy. There you go. Come on, because there's a lot of dogs on this bit. No. Good boy. He's a good boy. Get your stick. That's it. Take your stick. Oh no. Huh. Well, I think this is a. How long did that take us to get here? 17 miles. No, it wasn't. No, 11 miles, wasn't it? Something like that, yeah. 11 miles from the campsite. Yeah. Not bad at all. And there's plenty of other walks going off. We're not going to actually bother because we want to go into Telford. And, uh. That's another one that's close enough to pop down to. Yeah. The fields are muddy. We keep. While we're here, we're looking for places where we can let him off. Now, we went to one the other day, uh, just literally along from uh, where our campsite is, which is the one we will be going back to because you could let him off for quite long periods and uh, occasionally you came across a dog, didn't you? Yeah. Here we seem to be coming across other Does dogs. Some of the reviews do say it gets very busy. I would imagine in the summer, so close to town. Well, the other place? This place. Oh, this place, yeah, yeah, yeah I would imagine. <laughs> but there's a lot of dogs here for a Saturday morning. You've got Ampley Castle here. Oh, it quite look like a castle anymore though. Yeah, what Jason, nice it does. The, the original Oakley Castle still stands today, adjacent to the west side of Abbey Woods. But around 12th century, the castle's grade 2 listed has its own chapel and great hall. I don't look like a castle to me, but there you go. No, that's what I just said. Which is, yeah, that's where we turned oh, in. Right here, that's where we parked. Yeah, look, we're right here, there. Right by it, by the looks of it. Yeah, look, that. You are here. There. Yeah. Wanna walk through and have a quick look? Hey? Yeah. It could be. It looked weird in the picture. Yeah. Castle, I don't really castle. I don't know why it's called castle. Well, there's some loads of very old looking buildings around here, though. And you got this bit here you can walk down, looks very muddy but I would say that is it though. Because yeah, it's, it's where the map where the map says we are is is there, so oh. well, if you live here it's a great little walk, isn't it? Oh, yeah. your weddy boots and not your trainers like us pair of idiots. <laughs> I can't believe it, Charles, come on. Anyway, apparently there's a massive big pool here, but I couldn't quite work out where that is. It must have been right over the other side, we're not going to bother, are we? Oh, so. no. this. Yeah. Looking on the map there, and we were facing this way. It's up there, look. Oh, yeah. And we're here now, and that's Apley Castle behind us, so you could go straight up there. Or you can go back out towards the road, which is where we're parked. Back yeah. I'm going to put a bit of footage on now, just to show you <laughs> what happened yesterday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. It's yeah. just one of those situations where you think, <laughs> Some people just don't listen to instruction. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here's a little clip. We've got people coming next door. 
and they made the fatal mistake of getting their front wheels on the grass and now they're well and truly stuck. So Steve's been out there, I've been out there. There's three women and two or three blokes and we can't shift it. He was talking about going over and getting his forklift truck from the nursery. <laughs> oh well. There's a well and truly stuck there. So they've now resorted to bringing someone's car over, which they've attached to the back. And they're gonna try and tow it out. Wait no, stay there. So many chiefs, not enough Indians, I think. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, get it out. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but they're not really. Anybody really got much of an idea here. Go. Okay. Let's see if this works now. Don't know what sort of car that is now. It was a Volvo, they've moved it now to something else. done it. They've done it. Let's just hope you don't get stuck again. Oh, well, so glad that wasn't us for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Getting stuck and having to be towed out. <laughs> Sorry guys, because you were actually really nice people. <laughs> <laughs> that was Hiding in the trees. I'm alright. That actually whole thing took probably close on an hour to get him eventually off. His what, babe? Dark metal gate thing. Yeah, his gateways everywhere. Yeah? We've got to find the hospital. All right, I'm going to go out to that main bit and then walk up. I think out there. Because it was down through houses, wasn't it? So we're a little bit lost. <laughs> this, well, this way. This way. I don't think we're going to find that pond again. We're nowhere near it, babe. <laughs> trying to wash. We've got nothing to throw for you because you lost that one, but we try to wash him a bit. Go on, pick it. That's it. That's not what you, what you had, was it? I can't bring that one in. <laughs> right, is your ears washed oh, enough? Get on a shoot and leave yeah. Out. Go on. Right, chance. Come on, come on. This, no, way. this way. <laughs> no, you can't bring that out. Chance, leave it. Hop, hop. 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 Don't leave him near the mud. Oh, as you can see, look at this. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we, we don't actually know where we are, but we know that that is the Princess Royal, was it called? Princess Royal Hospital. And we did see signs for that when we were walking down, so we figure if we stay on this path, we should come to the gate that we went in on the right and then we'll be heading back towards the car but uh <laughs> stay in your leggings <laughs> come here man <laughs> wrong foot wear entirely it, well it did say paths and they are paths yeah, but bloody paths <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 
very muddy parts. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to sign off because uh, we're going to go back to B and M. So we'll catch up with you in a little while. <laughs> oh, poor little thing! That poor little thing, my arms. What a beautiful day. A good day for sitting outside. Yeah, it's very peaceful here, very peaceful. Even though there's a nursery literally just there, look, you don't hear nothing. I mean, the road's only just there, but you don't hear nothing of a night. It's a really peaceful sight, this one. And, uh, we've just been making some alterations to our pitch because uh, we got pretty badly flooded, as you could have seen. So I've just been over. I pinched a load of new shingle and done it all the way. I need to finish that bit off there. And uh, yeah, the owners are lovely because we we pinched those slabs in the garden centre the other day. They're broken anyway, just to give us a bit of for going in and that. So I'm just airing out the toilet. Found every now and again if I open that up and just leave it open for a bit, it airs it out a bit more. Our filter, the uh, control panel behind the thing is um, busted. And um, to be honest with you, I thought it was useless anyway, so I'm not wasting money on it till we come to sell it or whatever. So, like most things, these days seem to be uh, not very well made. So, Birds haven't been to visit us, but for the last two nights, I'm hoping they come today, there's masses and masses of... Um, Starlings just doing this massive swooping all around here, and uh, yeah, I want to capture it if, if if they come today. There's a uh, one pheasant that comes in, and there's also like with it is a black pheasant which I'd never heard of, and it is like jet black, and uh, yeah, they, that comes and drives child some man, so yeah, and then you get the sheep come along here in the evening and stuff. Yeah, it's very pleasant. So hopefully, you might get to see some of that later on. So I've got to squint because that sun is just, whoa, right through my eyes. Anyhow, we'll see you in a bit. I'm right on cue. Here come the sheep. I know. Oh, Hello, lemmy boy. Big ears, rabbit ears. Yeah, he's got massive ears, hasn't he? Well, they have. Good morning. It's uh, Saturday morning and... Uh, we thought we'd come out because this is really close to where we're staying at Road and Nurseries. This is Hormond Abbey, uh, and apparently it's a free to enter, free to enter Abbey, isn't it? So let's go in and see what's happening, shall we? Morning. That's a cool place to live. <laughs> well, let's have a quick look around. Right. Custodian's house originally. Alright. Oh, yeah. Now it's a Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah. It's quite intact actually. It's actually a lot bigger than you than it looks, isn't it? Yeah. All this rain we've had has made it very squelchy underfoot. <laughs> wow, well, it's actually really big. Isn't it? It is, isn't it? Massive. There are loads of ruins here. Because obviously it came out around here as well. We were just talking to the uh, guy in charge, if you like, and uh, he was, I was saying about the house that's just there as you come in. And that's actually a private dwelling that's uh, leased out to a lady who lives here. So. <laughs> well, it's nice to have something in your back garden like this. Yeah, we're going to go down this bit for a minute. Um, because I was thinking of being a bit cheeky because you're not allowed uh, you're not really allowed to film 
commercially or definitely no drones here. I was thinking oh, I'll sneak back later on when it's shut and uh, throw the drone over the top but if there's somebody's house here I can't really do that unless I could fly it from all the way. Wow! Wow this really opens up a fabulous um, thing really get a feel of how it was didn't you? Oh yeah. With the, uh, the Welsh mountains in the background. Welsh mountains in the background, yep. Yeah. Wow, it's huge. Time to read some of the inf boards. The building in front of you was the refectory. It had a large hall on the first floor where the cannons ate together and a cellar on the ground floor. So that's the cellar. So yeah, you can see on this picture. That would have been the pillars that for the to support the floor. The I cellar. entered it from the right here. Well how long has it been here then? So it, it fell into disrepair in the 1500s in the dissolution of the oh yeah, 12th century. Yeah, there's some of the window bits of 12th century. Wow. Oh yeah, look, the pillar bits. I see what you're saying yeah, now. Yeah, that would have the, been the floor first. supporting the floors are still there. The windows. There's a natural ceiling in there. There's a. I was looking I at the sculptures. Yeah. Good nick, really, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. It's so cool. Look at that window. Be a great place to do a gig from out right here. Wouldn't it? Huh? Be a great place to do a gig. Yeah. It's like a natural amphitheatre. Yeah. It? A nice view out as well. So this is literally um, two or three minutes down the road from Roden Nurseries. So we are here now. And that would have been the big church bit directly in front of us which is obviously missing but that bit is obviously that bit there over there so the 12th century church was divided by screens and pillars into several internal spaces whose floors stepped down this hill oh I see right so we're actually in the church now yes right yeah got you is that a reconstruction then? Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. I don't think they had drones in those days. <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> yeah. yeah, good point, yeah. <laughs> you just see a monk flying a DJI <laughs> drone over this, can't you? As it might have appeared in 1400. 64 metre long Abbey Church was begun in the 1180s. This is definitely worth a visit. No, we enjoyed ourselves the other day, didn't we, in um, Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury itself. Yeah, that was quite nice. Him. Apart from a certain person being a bit naughty. Or a certain lunch. animal. But, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it's, it's good. I like this area. 
Um, so far what I've seen, I really like Shrewsbury. Uh, let's get back to the uh, Abbey then, shall we? And then you've got Shrewsbury Prison, you've got um, Shrewsbury Castle. There is a ton of things that you can go and do around this area. Uh, and hopefully over the uh, next coming uh, weeks, because we're here for we're here for three weeks, because we've booked up our sites all the way down to Hampshire now. Uh, when we go to do our bit of house sitting and uh, airport delivery driving, <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to it actually. Get to drive another car for a while. What's up here? Oh, drink. That's the chimney. They're remarkably good nick, aren't they? Obviously, these have been added later, surely. To, yeah, they have been, haven't they? Yeah. They used to be able to go up there. Unless they've been reconquered those stairs at some point. Let's see if we can get a long stick to do its job then. There's a window up there as well, we might better get it out there. Oh yeah, look, you can see the staircase going up through there. Look. Oh yeah, you see the back of the stairs. Huh. Uh, I don't know what happens when you go out of here. Try and get a sense of what their view would have been like. Oh yeah, look, you can see, you can really see the staircase going up there now. Up there. You can go up a few stairs. That bloke's just gone up a few oh, stairs. Oh, I don't think you can go right up anywhere. I think it's just a few steps. The abbot was the local lord and landowner. And this would have gone out into where they were all eating and stuff. Pretty steep down there. Look at that window. Time to duck. In 1539, the abbey was closed due to Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries, and it became. A wealthy London merchant called Sir Roland Hill bought the site for three for the crown three years later in the 1550s. His nephew James Barker converted some of it into a Tudor mansion, which apparently looks something like that. Well, what a really, really brilliant structure. And probably, I would say, the most most complete one we've come across, isn't it, mate? Right? Uh, yes, ruin, yeah. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Obviously it's not complete as in. A quid in a yeah, we'll put a donation in. As that is really worth it. Some of them you go to, you know, it's two stones and that's all that's left, but there's well worth a donation. And I wonder how creepy it is living in there overnight, though. In there? <laughs> Do you reckon like, whoever no. lives in there overnight sees, like, monks walking around? Well, let's have a quick look through this window. I shame people have to go scratching flipping names into walls. I know some of it might be old, but some of it's definitely not. Yeah, utterly fabulous. Hormond 
Holmond Abbey. Holmond Abbey, yeah. Totally worth a visit. And uh, just off the A5062 uh, on the way to Roden. And great seal there too at Roden Nurseries. And a great calf. That's really cool. You can even have a picnic out here. And we'll see you at the next place.